Hi, this is Dr. Pachenik, and today I want to talk about Parasite. Uh, it was a movie that was decided to be the best film, best director, best screenplay, blah, blah, blah. Uh, it's a good film, not great. The point isn't that. The point is that Parasite highlights what's been going on in the Democratic Party for the past couple of months. Thanks to Nancy Pelosi, Schumer, uh, uh, Nandler, a whole group of Democrats have been parasites. They have eaten up our monies, American taxpayer monies, our time, and have destroyed the republic because they accomplished nothing except the process that was self-destructive to them. As I predicted, I said Nancy Pelosi would end up self-destructing because of a malignant narcissism. And this is a point to the Yale psychiatrist who thought malignant narcissism was for Trump. No, it was for Nancy Pelosi. You saw it at the end movement when she tore up the president's speech. So 30 years of her career will be capsulized in three minutes, tearing up the president's speech. The second person who was a complete disaster in Parasite, Mitt Romney, a favorite Republican who voted against the president, but also is a highly corrupt, incapable Mormon who really is trying to stigmatize the great Mormon church of Utah. Then we have a third person coming in, Bernie Sanders, who takes all the money he can from the American government and talks about socialism as long as he has the best health care program for his heart attack, but not for ours. The person who really came out besides Trump is a very unusual individual, Mitch McConnell, senator from Kentucky. He really held together the entire Republican Party, except for Mitt Romney, who was just a narcissist. The reason I like Mitch McConnell, and it came out now, is that he's quiet, non-self-aggrandized, understands how to control a group of what I would call cats, screaming cats, and keep them together and make sure they're unified. And the reason he's that way is because he's disciplined, he doesn't talk much, and if you look at his history, you'll understand two things. One, he grew up in poverty in Alabama, in the Deep South. Two, even more important than that, was the fact that at the age of two, he had polio. Now, why is that important? Because when you have polio, and at that time we didn't have all those cures that we have now, you have to compensate by doing better physically and mentally. And he did. He got into the University of Kentucky, did exceedingly well, and then joined our National Guard. Unfortunately, again, he served our country, but we, could, we couldn't take him. We had to discharge him medically because of optic neuritis. And what I'm pointing out is in contrast to the parasite, you have a Mitch McConnell who doesn't need to take things away from others, who doesn't need to waste our time, doesn't need to waste our money, and in turn, because of his self respect and the fact that he respects our country, he in turn appointed another person from Kentucky who I think should eventually become the vice president of the United States, and that's Dr. Rand Paul, the ophthalmologist, who in turn has a father who also served our country as a physician. It would be great for Mitch McConnell to appoint Rand Paul someday as a vice president for either Trump or the next Republican candidate. On that note, I wish you good luck and good night.